Welcome to Extra Throttle House. I'm Thomas. I'm James. And today we have, I think, what is the biggest bargain in super sports ultra speed SUVs that you can buy. Yes, and we've lived with this before, but we never made a video. For some reason, we never got time to roll the camera. Why did that? Why? What happened with that? I don't that? know. We had it in yellow. It was pretty cool. It was cool. yellow. But now we have it in eager gray. And yeah, I've looked up some of the things because Thomas has lived with this, which yeah. means we probably know next to I nothing. I know pretty much. I know a few things. Here, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say them all. Do Ready? It. This has got a five liter supercharged V8. It is 550 horsepower. It's There we go. Sub four second. 550 horsepower. Sub, <laughs> sub four second knots to 60. Very similar time we found yeah, to the. Yeah, 3738 seconds. And then as far as bargain goes. Just really quick. No one thinks six figures is a bargain for anything. No. However, if you consider that in Canada, this is just over 100,000, what we say is 110, 107. Yeah, well, they, apparently the price, we're getting some mixed messages on the yeah. price. Right? Either way, that's $40,000 difference from the RSQ8, the GLE 63. X5M the competition. X5M comp. That's a huge gap. Massive gap. Huge gap. You could buy this and a Miata. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> I knew you'd be happy with that. Anyway, I just want to say that this, this well, first of all, this design's been around for a while. Yeah. Um, but in the last couple of years, the interior has been refreshed, which we'll see in a second is quite nice. But from the get-go, it's not like this is news, I think this is a brilliant looking SUV. Yeah. Looks, no, no, don't poke it. Okay. Don't poke it. Don't worry. No, it's British quality. Yeah. This is, it looks fantastic. I like the placement of the vents. I like the size of the grille. I like the design of the headlights. I agree. And I, right? I think it harkens back to a time where you, f you knew it was a performance thing because yeah. it had a vent. Uh, yeah, there's a vent, there's a vent, and there's a vent. Right? Like, if you think about the Urus now, which is yeah. arguably very overstyled. And these are real. They're um, real vents. Now, this is real. Remember that? It's evacuating air from so, there. So, well, down so the, 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 the hypothesis of this yes. is that the world has been sleeping on this. I think, the, I think the world is sleeping on this, absolutely. Also, it is one of the last pure sounding V8s that you can buy on the market, period. There are no turbochargers snuffing out the noise of gurgles and bangs and screams and shouts and pops, and it does all of the snarls that you want, save a few pops and bangs, unfortunately. Right. But, uh, do you want to drive it? Yeah. Because I, mean, I really like this thing. Yeah, I, gotta, I, I want really to, where like the this. hell is that $40,000 difference? It's not in the interior, surprisingly. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> that sound. It's just great. You shift manually, and then when you shift up, you get, there's so much stuff going on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that feels quick. That it's, is, oh, it's quick. That's yeah. good. That's theater. Wow, I really, I really like this interior. Yeah, 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 like it, it was a huge step. It was a huge step. This isn't new this year, No. right? But it's just, it elevates this interior to a level where I cannot make an argument for any of the Germans. No, I, as enough. a whole, as a whole package, I mean. Oh, like. You say it doesn't pop and bang, that's. Well, I mean, not on the overrun, but like it, it does huge. Oh, no, not as much as it used to. Not as much as the old like F type used to, right? These seats are cool. The seats are like, great. They're, they're proper sport, sporty seats. seats. Yeah, they're not. Yep. They're like buckety. We've got Alcantara lining places that it's just. I think it's the perfect level of touch, especially this yep. little bit this here. This little strip right there. You know, right. The small diameter steering wheel. You've got yeah. this sort of double, almost like Bentley style. Yep. Double trim thing. Yeah, the gauge cluster looks cool. The infotainment is fantastic, and I can't believe I'm about to say this now. This is my second JLR product in a row, and I've had zero issues with anything. So either they figure it out. Or it's a fluke. <laughs> Two know. flukes in a row. Two flukes in a row. But this is perfect. I absolutely love this Apple CarPlay. The way everything works, this is fast. And then it does that. I, you know what's so funny? Because, you know, we got in the Maserati Levante. Yes. Which is great. Drives really it, it, well. It drives great, but the yeah. interior is a huge letdown. Yeah. And it's the same price, if not more, than the, the Germans. Yes. This is so much cheaper. It feels... I, I don't understand. I'm so confused. Yeah. What, what's the catch? I don't know, because why isn't everybody buying this over an X5M or whatever it is? is it, it, uh, reliability is what they'll say. Sure, a fuel economy maybe? 
the ride Fuel economy. isn't... No, you know what? That's not fair because the X, the XM competition stuff has got a crazy harsh ride. Yeah. But this, the ride in this, I find crashes a bit too much. Okay. It's well damped in sport mode, but it's still, it hits on the bumps really and, and hard. That's, and you don't live somewhere where that's bad. So it sounds like in Toronto, that would be an issue. It would probably be annoying. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I love this engine. I love it in the oh, F-Type. I love it in this. It's just brilliant. And, and, and dynamically, I, so I've picked this up and I hit the first on-ramp that I, on back onto the highway. I didn't do the traction control off anything, just in dynamic mode. I pushed it around the corner and I was literally doing dabs of opposite lock to keep the rear in check. Well, it just straight up drove like a sports car. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what is happening? Also, your driving position and visibility is so like confidence inspiring. You just feel very in control of it, right? This is excellent. This is excellent. It's absolutely excellent. Steering's a bit light and dynamic. Yeah, the steering is obviously not good. They've, it, well, they've just, given it a yeah. short ratio. It kind of feels yep. like a baby Ferrari almost, where it, yeah. just feel, it makes the car feel tighter. Yeah, than yeah, it yeah. Is. Seats, back seats, lots of room. Our sound guy Harrison, you know, just fits. Six foot six. Just, just fits, so it's got that. It's got lots of cargo space. I'm, I don't see a downside other than the uh, the the ride. I, there's nothing else you're gonna do a launch. I just want to see if it has it. Yeah. Hang on. Okay. Sport mode. Yeah. That's not any crazier than just accelerating. No, to be it's honest. not. No, it doesn't. This doesn't like no. cut in the clutch or anything like that. Right? So guys, it's a Jag. We wanted to make it last. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, the Germans. So I don't know how they do their launch controls, but it makes the cars last. We'll <laughs> yeah. get involved. How's no. the sound system? It's it's good. I've enjoyed it. it. You know, it's not like brilliant or anything, but like it's 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 great. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. I like all of these buttons. All of this is easy, even though these look like they're a panel. They're like they click when you right. click them. Right. Right. And you this this is, this is all the seat information, but you don't need that. You just click on one of these and spin it, and your cooled seats, your heated seats. Right. Super easy. Easy. The pole yeah. for fan. Right. Done. Yeah. Same as uh, same as the F type. I figured everything out in this in like two seconds. Right? It was so straightforward. And the wireless CarPlay, if it's the same as the Defender in the range, does it come yep. on immediately? And immediately? Start, immediately. It, it took me under 30 seconds to set it up from getting in the car not knowing how to do it. I ref no, you see, I refuse to believe that there isn't a catch. The 40, That's what I mean. Yeah. What's the 40 grand difference? And I, I imagine everyone's commenting, it's JLR. Yeah. Like, you, it's going to be it's on the gonna road. It's going to be broken. Yeah. yeah. That's probably what it is. But mean, currently, it's not. No, it's not. And, and I'm sorry, it's not like... Those, those BMWs and Mercedes are just like wonderfully simplistic machines that run forever, no. right? So, so I mean, even if the depreciation hits this harder, you're at a $40,000 advantage from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. well, the, the trick is that yeah, these do depreciate, right? So right. buy a used one. Okay, so to, to <laughs> throw another car into the ring. Yeah. The Alfa Romeo uh, Stelvio Quadrifoglio. This is a better engine. Okay. It's not as sharp dynamically. Right, I don't it, think because they're about the same price. They're about the same price. This is a better interior than that. Yeah. Right? That one's cool because it's an alpha, right? So it's got that going for it. But it's even has a decent turning radius for how big it is. Like, look at that. Yeah. Whoop, no That's problem. It hasn't got rear wheel steer or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> it really feels quite playful, quite lovely. It is. It's, yeah. it's actually a fun SUV to drive. There aren't that many of those. How's the mileage right? on the supercharged V8? It's not good. Not good. No, it's not good. No, and 13.1 uh, liters per hundred kilometers, and that's averaged a lot of like highway gentle cruising. Right, right. right. But hey, but hey, but hey, it's a V8, and it doesn't have any turbos snuffing out its sound. So, what do you want? You want? <laughs> what do you want? You want noise? I or do you want? Oh my God! One of the worst fuel economy cars we've driven in the last few years was a supercharged V8. It was the CT5 V Blackwing. Yes, and so then right. Under that was the GT500. GT500, well, yes. probably the same. They're both yep. the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Raucous. Wonderful, wonderful SUV. Seriously. I've like, never seen you beam so I'm, much. Because you it, get in a car ready no, to bar humbug. I love it when a car surprises me, and and, and it, it, it this genuinely feels like there's a team of engineers behind it that actually cared about how it drove and how it felt. And that doesn't happen very often. It genuinely doesn't. Most of the time it feels like 
they were second class and the guys that were responsible for marketing and giving it a big dumb grill, they got priority in all the funding, right? This feels like guys are just like, let's just make this thing fun, man. Let's do it. <laughs> or, or, or they would have been like, oh, so I feel like we should make this thing I like this fun I like this picture of just a fraternity at JLR. Lads, <laughs> yeah. lads, lads. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, even credit to them, even the eye paste, which is, if you're watching this, yeah. is e EV scum, am I yeah. right? <laughs> Even the iPace has beautiful chassis dynamics. It was great. So yeah, this drives so well, and like I, I was enjoying it, just zipping around the city in it because it feels like small and it feels sharp. Yeah. If if that chassis feeling is present, at least mostly in the lower trims, like this would be an excellent like budget family vehicle because they're not that expensive when they're high mileage. I would just deal with the problems that you're inevitably going to have, but like. I, just like give me like the inline six hybrid or whatever it is, right? I With think, this I think so much of this experience is that V8 though. It is, but honestly, I love the way that it turns and steers, and and I, it's the whole thing feels excellent, it feels tight. Or well, uh, Jag, like Ford, kind of uh, have fun with the branding. Like the start-stop button still pulses at the same speed as the heartbeat of a Jaguar. Like, yeah. I like that stuff. Yeah. I don't want to lose that stuff. Yeah. I don't have much to say. Although I will at say that, parties. like, like the, the the heartbeat of a Jag, you are Jaguar, probably has quite a range of what it can do. So all they had a to do calm, is put it somewhere. A calm, a calm Jag, like a hunting, waiting Jag. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't get old, does it? No, it's no. great. That's great. Yeah. And I think it. I think it looks good. I think the interior is good. Yep. I haven't had much time in these seats. They feel comfortable though. No, I've done a couple hours in them. No issues whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there you go. I mean, everyone else is sleeping on this thing. If you're looking for a big fast SUV, before you buy an X5M Competition or a GLZ whatever 63S or a RSQ8, please drive one of these. Yeah. If you're, and if you want to be obnoxiously one. loud. Yes and be Ooh, almost doesn't. as quick as the Urus next to you. I mean, of course you do. There's, we're talking about the buyer of a super sports SUV here. You guys are not the most subtle, I will say. <laughs> I do love you, but <laughs> come on, this yeah, is yeah, what yeah. you want. You're not trading in a RAV4 Prime for this. No, no. Anyway, we should probably find a spot to end. <laughs>